Sabriel Matias takes on Shojahan Ergashev November 4th for Matias' 140-pound IBF belt. This fight is in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh boy, this fight is going to be brutal. Yes, gentlemen, let's do this. Let's get into the tail of the tape, both coming in at the age of 31. Ergashev with a one-inch height advantage. Both have a 71-inch reach. Both will be 140 pounds, and then Matias will have a slight power advantage on the night. Sabrio Matias, aka the Terminator, the 140-pound IBF champion, has a record of 20 fights, one loss, 19 wins, 19 wins by KO. The one loss he had to Petros Nanyan, he avenged a couple of years later. Sabrio Matias is a hardcore pressure fighter. He does not let his opponents breathe hardly ever. He dispenses with boxing completely. He walks his opponents down, he stalks them, he bullies them, he beats them up. He always finds his opponent and he is able to reel off really amazing hard arm punches in close proximity with massive leverage and power. As tough as he is and as tenacious as he is and as brutal as he is, he can be hurt. Shojahan Ergashev, 23 fights, 23 wins, 20 coming by way of KO. He is a power punching southpaw from Uzbekistan. He has had limited opposition, but the opposition he has had, he has dispatched with fairly comfortably. Ergashev has a very Eastern European style. He likes that pendulum step. He likes to line up his opponents with his backhand. That's his power shot. He's trained in Detroit by Sugar Hill, so he has that cronk style. He has an unbelievable body shot, which I think could be his secret weapon. Question for me is, will Sabriel Matias be able to take Ergashev's power? Ergashev is going to land his shots, especially that backhand, the straight backhand, just like Jukembaev did. A bit of port. That's Ergashev's best punch. Ergashev's most devastating punch, I think, is his left uppercut shovel hook to the liver. If he can land that, I think he has an opportunity to really hurt Matias, slow him down and get his respect. But if he can't, he is a sitting duck. He has shown no signs of an inside game. He has shown very little signs of being able to handle this type of pressure. He hasn't fought anybody like this before. He is going to need and he's going to have to fight at some point off the ropes, off the back foot, where he's a little bit less comfortable, although he can do it. Can he really maintain the presence and the physicality and the inside craft and the arm punches and the tenacity and the brutal force and fearlessness of Subriel Matias? Because he does not stop coming. He is the Terminator and he is coming to destroy you. Let's go. This is a mouth-watering matchup. Something has to give when there's so much power in the room. This fight ain't going 12 rounds. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below who you've got. Personally, I think Matias is going to break Ergashev down. I think he's going to be able to take his power. I think he's going to get his shots off close on the ropes. Get that left hook going. I think Ergashev is going to lose. But Ergashev does have a chance. But I think his uppercut to the liver is his main secret weapon. If he can get that going, he does have a chance. But I think Matias will come out victorious. 
between round five and seven. May the best man win. This is a very brutal fight. I really hope both these gentlemen come out the ring healthy. I hope we get a really good fight. That's all we can ask for. You know, may the best man win. And may these two warriors live to fight another day. Peace and love. Hit the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm out. Subriere Matias. Porque cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. Chokjahun Patomok Temorlana Ergashen. Boxing. Knowledge. Knowledge.